I had to deal with the traffic jam on the way up. <laughs> Welcome to the 11th annual oh. Canal Walk Variety Show. And you know, I see a lot of people I can't believe you're back for another year. <laughs> this is so, we're happy you are. And we also are happy because with the Red Sox and the Yankees tonight, there's a real pull as to where you want to be. So I hope you're recording it, or I'm going to try to give you updates. No updates? Okay. Just so you know, I'm from Boston, so be careful. <laughs> I want to start by giving a warm thank you to the Homeowners Association and the board for their support for this year's program. Uh, and also Karen Anderson and her crew, the volunteers, who are going to feed us at the end of Act Two. Not Act Two. Okay. Uh, I'm your host, Bruce Davidson. If you've not met me before, how do you do? I'm shaking your hands. I want to remind you to turn off your phones or put them on to vibrate. If you have a little candy or whatever, you know, now, you know, they're going to make a lot of noise. Just get them open now and stick them behind your ear or wherever you want to get them to. Or, you know, in your cheek. I used to stick them in my cheek and so forth. And uh, I adjust your pacemakers because it's going to be an exciting evening. <laughs> and turn up your ear. We also want to caution people who are sitting like on the edge here, yeah. if you need to leave, go this way, because yeah. we're videotaping the program tonight, and if you go this way, you'll be in the videotape, and these folks won't be in the videotape. <laughs> and actually, we've got them all, it, it, there's a whole YouTube kind of contest going on, so we want to make sure that our tape is, you know, going to be great. Uh, tonight's show is entitled Anything Goes. And boy, that was a risky venture for us because it meant that anybody could choose anything they wanted to do. Hmm, that was interesting. <laughs> and again this year, I want to uh, uh, thank uh, Fred Ford, who is our musical director. <laughs> He's been working all summer with us, and unfortunately, just a few weeks ago, he fell and broke his Way, right? He a fever. And uh, so he's, he, he's been released from rehab for four hours. We got him for four hours. <laughs> but what he did was he contacted one of his uh, colleagues, Kathy Spadafino. Kathy? <laughs> and Kathy um, has been in East Brunswick school system for 35 years. She's now retired. She directed the All State Chorus and uh, still lives in East Brunswick with her husband, Michael, and uh, loves uh, her role as grandma. Uh, she has two new uh, one-year-old grandsons born a week apart. Okay? So, I made a lot of odd comments about that. I don't know whether the families were talking to each other or what was going on here. But amazingly, she's just came with us last week for rehearsal and just stepped right in. We gave her the music and she's just going to sing it all. So what do you think? Should we get started? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know some of you have been waiting since like 6.45 or something. <laughs> I don't blame you. So let me introduce our friend Kathy Ford, Fred's wife, who's been with us for five years doing the variety show. She's been singing and dancing, and uh, she's determined to keep those old gray cells uh, moving along, as she said. Um, she's frightened that in the past month, she ended up taking a short stint in the hospital, and then left with a stent. And it all took place in between rehearsal dates. <laughs> so it, we didn't miss a beat. <laughs> she didn't miss a beat. And luckily she didn't miss a heartbeat. So, so Kathy's going to uh, pick the song that was originally thought was going to channel Mama Cass. But then she found out that Dinah Shore and Elephant Carol also did the song. So 
it's not quite the same. So I think when you listen to it, you'll probably hear all three of Kathy. So, here's Kathy with Dream a Little Dream. We'll see how well those gray cells look to me. <laughs>
has been a long term, long time resident of Kanawha, approaching 15 years, I believe. He's watched the community grow up around him. With no training and little experience, Charlie was one of the first members of the Canal Walk Chorus and Acting Up. He has performed in 11 consecutive variety shows. He has sung solos, duets, and in groups. And his comedy skits have always been a hoot. He was honored to have sung as part of the Angless Brothers, and you'll see a little piece tonight when we honor Danny Shannon. Who will, um, and you may remember his uh, rendition of Old Bones last year, right? Written by Hoagie Carmichael in 1940 from the romantic western Canyon Paradise Passage. I don't know where he finds this stuff. I stay up at 3 o'clock in the morning looking for songs to, and movies. The song was nominated for an Academy Award <laughs> for Best Original Song. I'll get to <laughs> Old Buttermilk Sky. Change some forever 
completing the Passaic High School and Douglas College uh, choruses. Over the years, she's been in choruses in West Palm Beach, in Bridgewater, and in the Canal Walk Chorus. She's a grandmother of two sets of twins. One of the two sets is identical twin girls. The other, a boy and a girl. One married in June, and the boy is getting married in November. So we wish her congrats. Autumn Leaves was an original song written in 1945 and per performed in a movie that I won't even dare to pronounce the name. It has been performed by a wide range of performers, Frank Sinatra, Andy Williams, Stan Getz, Miles Davis, Hacking Cole, and Eric Clapton. Didn't seem to quite fit the, that crew. And now, our own Carol Brown. The falling leaves drift by my window, the autumn leaves of red and gold. I see your lips. The summer kisses, the sunburned hands I used to hold. Since you went away, the days grow long, and soon I'll hear old winter song. But I miss you most of all.
about 48 years ago. It took me some time to convince her. But today, that girl is here with us. So here we go.
are thrilled to have the Canal Walk Tappers back with us this year. On the way up. <laughs> Kathy Ford, who we've already met, this is her third year with the Tappers. <laughs> Denise Goldstein, this is her second year. She never took dance prior to joining Ann Fuller Mockings last year. Uh, she's loving it. Jane didn't let a bout of pneumonia and asthma get in the way. She just practiced her steps sitting in a chair. <laughs> Barbara Shubiak. Growing up in Bergen County, performing in recitals and minstrels and benefits, learning new tap, tap steps from Angela and Masha. It's been a welcome challenge, huh? <laughs> in addition, she and her husband Peter have been learning new social dances, proving you're never, you never stop learning. And and I wasn't gonna go there. <laughs> I was going there, I wasn't going there. Anyway, Ann Minor Weeks is a retired from a career of teaching. Choir, which maybe we can get her to do next year, <laughs> and started learning tap here at Canal Walk. And recently adopted a beagle who looks a little puzzled when she practices at home. <laughs> and leading the Canal Walk Tappers is Angela Horan. self-promoting. Angela began tap dancing in Brooklyn when she was five years old. Over the years, she's been taking lessons from many accomplished dance teachers, and several years ago, Angela had the opportunity to dance at, on stage at the State Theater with the great Gregory Hines. While it was only for a minute or so, it's a memory and experience she told me she will never forget, and who she dedicates this year's performance. In 2014, she teamed up with fellow Hufa, Masha Spinner, to create Tap for Fun and Fitness. <laughs> They're offering free tap lessons to our community and a labor of love, and she loves her Canal Walk tappers. They're going to do a song called In the Mood. Thank you. 
unbelievable. And the one thing I do want to say is, uh, Jane Gennaro, who was part of the team, unfortunately had a family emergency, and she's not able to perform tonight and tomorrow, unfortunately. So, what do you think? Not bad for a second, huh? Look at the fun. 
we introduce our jokester for the night tonight? Arthur Bransdorfer moved to Canal Walk just in November of 2017. He's a retired manager of reliability for American Standard. He has a number of hobby, hobbies, including exotic furniture making, to redirecting to directing plays in various community theaters, including Love, Music Man, Jimmy Shine, and the World of Shalom Aleichem. Arthur's late wife was a professional actress, director, and writer, performing and directing in uh, The Rose Tattoo, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, and at the local community center, where Arthur also helped as stage manager. by General George Patton, liberated Paris. His buddy, Charles de Gaulle, invited him to the best French restaurant in Paris. Come in for lunch, a beautiful waitress comes over to, 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 go to uh, Patton. General, in the name of all my compatriots, I thank you for liberating our lovely city. You can have anything you want, anything you heart desires. But looks at her up and down, looks at the menu, looks at the town. How about a quickie? <laughs> wow, she was turning red as a bee. General, I'm not that kind of a girl. How would you do this to me? Nobody's ever insulted me like this in my life. And she runs away to the kitchen crying. And the girl talks to Patton and whispers to him, George, it's pronounced kish. <laughs> Fire. 
Mount Sinai Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Open your shirt. I want to hear your heartbeat. Now, will this take long? Not if I hear something. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. I hear something. You're all right. Now, aren't you going to listen with a stethoscope? Huh. Oh, sure. I didn't know you wanted a thorough examination. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> what do I got? A dirty undershirt. Never mind. <laughs> Am I in good health? Not unless you change your undershirt. <laughs> what is this, a practice office or a laundry? I bet you never went to medical school. What are you talking? What are you talking? I went to Columbia Medical School. Did you pass? Well, certainly. Well, you should have gone in. Oh, never mind. I'm going to examine your eyes now. They're perfect. I got 20 20 eyes. That's too much. All you need is one in one. <laughs> Look at the chart on the wall. Yes. Now, put your left hand over your left eye. Okay. Your right hand over your right eye. <laughs> now, tell me, what do you see? I don't see nothing. Don't panic. Don't panic. I can cure you. Take your hands away. Can you see now? Certainly I can see now. You know, I fixed over 2,000 people like that. <laughs> it's a miracle. Well, thank you. No, it's a miracle you're not in jail. <laughs> now, what do you charge for a visit? A dollar. A dollar? That's very cheap for an examination. Oh, it's not an examination. It's just a visit. You know, hello and goodbye. Hello and how are you? That's $10. Now, if you ask me, you're a quack. If I was a quack, I would ask you. Now, roll up your sleeve. I want to take some blood. I can't do it. Why not? I get sick when I see blood. Well, do what I do. Don't look. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not giving blood. I'm anemic. What's anemic? You're a doctor and you don't know what anemic is? That's because I'm a specialist. <laughs> what do you specialize in? Everything but anemic. <laughs> Now listen, can I continue my examination? Well, let's see about that. You? Uh, okay, yeah, well, you okay. continue yours and I'll continue mine. Okay? All right. Does it hurt when I hit you with a hammer? Yes! Good. From now on, try not to get hit with a hammer. <laughs> now. See this? Yeah. I see that. You see this, huh? You know what you're supposed to do with this? Yeah, part? I think so. You think so, or you know so? If you're not so sure, let me know. The cleaner doesn't come in today. <laughs> now, what do you want me to do? I want you to go in this cup. I haven't got time. I gotta go over your books. Oh, the hell you will. If I don't go over your books, the government will come in here and go over your books. Don't they have a place in Washington? Certainly, but they have to go where the books are. The whole government? No, just the Treasury Department. Oh, that's a relief. I'm glad you're relieved. I wish you were relieved before you came in here. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Mrs. Kolodny, you want me to rush right over and deliver your baby? Oh, I'm busy right now. I can't do it. But I'll mail it to you in the morning. <laughs> Now, let me see your tongue, please. <coughs> let me see your tongue, please. <laughs> oh, how long have you had that white coat on your tongue? Just all winter. In the spring, I put it on this gray sport jacket. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now, hold your tongue with your fingers and say, shish kebab. <laughs> wow. Again? <laughs> wow. Oh, I have bad news for you. What is it? If you do that in a restaurant, you'll never get shish kebab. <laughs> now, never mind that. What about your taxes? The what? The taxes. It's time for you to pay the taxes. I'm warning you. 
Don't start with me. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You spit at me. I can't pay my taxes to a guy who spits at me. Okay, you pay your taxes and I'll stop spitting. It's a tough deal, but I'll do it. I'll pay my taxes promptly. <laughs>
Also, mark your calendars if you have time. It's selling out fast. Space is limited. Michael's going to give a free full solo uh, concert over at the Freedom House October 14th from 2 to 4. There are flyers in the lobby and there's uh, instructions on how to register. Tonight he's playing one of his own songs, written his original songs called Lucky Ones. <coughs> Michael? Monty Python grass <laughs> 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 Yeah, there's only, um, I think about 10 or 12 spots left. They, they only set up 50 chairs down there at the Freedom Clubhouse, so it's going to be a nice, intimate little gathering, and uh, I hope you can make it. As we each day for the journey, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 
First of all, I want to thank Sandy for allowing me to say farewell to all of you after 11, 12 years that I was here, and they were nice ones. Now, a few jokes. A lawyer gets into his office and see a man painting the walls with two parkas on. And he says, what are you doing in such a hot day with two parkas on? The guy grabbed the paint can and he goes to him and he says, read the instructions. It works better with two coats on. <laughs> a man is going from a house to house looking for a job. And this gentleman goes and he says, okay, I'll give you $150 if you paint my porch. Here's the can, here's the brush, go do it. So he goes, a few minutes later, he knocks at the door and he says, I did the job, give me my $150, the guy pays him, and he says, by the way, you don't have a Ferrari, you have a Ferrari, you don't have a porch. <laughs> okay, three guys are together and they're talking about eulogies. So they decided that they, what they wanted to hear when they died. The first one said, I want somebody to say I was the best doctor ever and he made a, I made a big difference on mankind. The second one said, I like somebody to say I was the best teacher and the kids made a lot of difference in the world. The third one said, hmm, I like somebody to stand up and say, he's moving. <laughs> And the last one is a little boy goes with his father to a horse show. And he sees the father feeling the horse all up. And he goes, Daddy, Daddy, what are you doing? I'm feeling the horse to see if he's in good health for me to buy. Yeah? <gasps> oh, Daddy, Daddy, the mailman wants to buy mommy. <laughs> And by the way, I moved to Myrtle Beach two weeks before the hurricane. <laughs>
know, we have oxygen tanks uh, in the back, just in case. Now it's time to introduce the leader, the producer, the director, the creator of the show, Sandy Goodman Siegel. Sandy has been performing in community theater and dinner theaters for over 60 years. Sandy was born singing and hasn't stopped. If you call her house, just call her house and listen to her answering machine. For years, she's been involved in two variety shows here at Canal Walk and in a similar community down in Florida. This is, Cindy, is Sandy's 11th year shepherding this potpourri of people and performers into a well-oiled performing arts team. A little greasy, but we're good. <laughs> Her vision for the show, her hard work, her dedication is what makes it really all work for us. She's supported by her family, including Judy Siegel, who's back there doing the videotaping, and also her other daughter, Debbie Levenberg, who handles our photography. Singing a song by Jewel Stein with lyrics by Betty Condon and Adolph Green from The Bells Are Ringing, it's The Party's Over. <laughs>
I've been your host, Bruce Davidson, and I want to thank again the Canal Walk Homeowners Association for their support this year. Also, Loretta Demetria, who's over there, is going to run back and forth. providing the refreshments tonight. And once again, let's give a warm welcome and hand to Kathy Sperapino. We invite you all to think about your hidden talents, because maybe we'll get you up here next year. Think about it. Now, here's a word from our friend, Sandy Siegel. I want to thank Uh, I want to I want to thank Deb for doing this. I'm not sure if she's here tonight, but she kind of was a liaison between Fred and when Kathy came in, and we really appreciated her. She's on a cruise. Oh, <laughs> she's looking for her. <laughs> I guess she, she did well. I want to uh, thank Gail Barkin and Edna Stone for uh, taking care of uh, taking us to the world. We didn't have tickets but the programs and, and checking everyone in. Oh, gosh, there's so many people. Uh, Karen's, Karen and, uh, Anderson and her group, they're wonderful, setting up the uh, refreshments. Um, Loretta for her stage managing. My daughters, Debbie and uh, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Bruce, our master of ceremonies. I want to thank Fred for all his work that he did before he <laughs> And um, above all, I do want to thank my um, cast because they're wonderful. I love them all. Thank you. very much to thank our great director and the musical director. But really, um, this show would not happen if it weren't for Sammy. And we love her very much. Um, she spends a lot of time helping us figure out who we are and, and putting up with all of our mistakes and our struggles. So thank you so much. and enjoy it.
like, if Mae West you like, or me undressed you like, why nobody will 